What's up? Welcome to that Photoshop uh, quick tip tutorial about uh, using the actions, the button actions in uh, Photoshop CS6, CS5, CS4, and CS3, I think. So uh, I'll show you how to uh, use them, how to create your own, and how to save them and carry them on your USB key, bring, bring them at work, at home, on your laptop, whatever. And uh, it's pretty easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so um, here I have an image that is uh, uh, 2048 by 2048 as uh, image size. That's a texture for a game, of course, but uh, you can use the, the uh, actions for everything, not only for video game purposes, but uh, for uh, video editing, for uh, color adjustment on your photos, stuff like that. So first of all, if you want to use the, uh, the uh, button actions, the, uh, sorry, the actions buttons, you, can, you, you need to go in window and uh, show them. So Alt F9 is the shortcut. So click on actions, boom. You have those magnificence uh, preset that uh, Photoshop gives you. Uh, it's kind of confusing here what's going on if you don't know what, what the, uh, the actions are, are doing in Photoshop. So my my tip, my small quick tip, is to uh, click on that um, icon there, a list, and uh, show the button mode. It's easier to understand what's going on. So basically, those are actions that you, or Photoshop recorded for you, and it's like doing the job uh, for you. So if you want a vignette, for example, Photoshop gives you that preset that you can do on any image, okay? And it will create a vignette for uh, on any image that you want. So yeah, just to show you an example. And now it's working. Did it work? I don't know. I don't like those uh, these presets. Let me just undo. What is the frame channel? Uh, okay, it's creating a frame, I guess. A 50 pixel frame. Okay, that's disgusting. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Good. Just make sure it's still my original image, 2048 by 2048. Good. So first of all, let's just clear those uh, useless preset, in my opinion. So clear all actions. Voila. Yep. So as you can see, the list is empty now. So disable the button mode. And now you can create your own. So let's just start. Let's say I want to do, uh, I, I have like a batch of files that I want to re resize. So instead of opening this file, going image, image size, I don't, I want to resize it to 512. So 512, okay. Opening the new one, going image, image size, 512. Okay, it's kind of annoying and long if I have like a lot to do. Let's say I want to do that, but a little bit faster. What I can do to speed up my workflow is to create an action. Okay, so how to do that? First of all, you need a folder. So you will create a new folder, name the way you want. So I'll call it resize because this is what I want to do. I want to resize any image or any pictures. And then in that folder, that empty folder, you need to create a new action. So this new uh, layer here. So I'll call it resize. 512 in my resize group okay, that I just created. A function key, it's basically the shortcut that will be applied to your new action. So I'll choose F2 in my case. Okay, you can choose Shift F2 if you want, Control F2, Shift Control F2, Shift Control F12 if you rather. It's up to you. I'll choose just F2. And the color has nothing to do with the, the thing, it's just a visual uh, aspect to it. Keep organized, I guess. Okay, so uh, I'll choose red. I don't really care. Once you're ready, you press record, and uh, then it will register and record every action that you do in Photoshop. Okay, and it will save that to the F2 key that you set up. So I want again to resize my or any image to a 512 image size. So this is what I'll do: record, boom, and now as you can see, it's recording. It's not recording your mouse mouse movement and your voice and shit. It's just recording the 
the actions that you do. So every button that you will click and stuff like that. So I want to resize it to a 512. I go image, image size 512 by 512. Press OK. And in my case, I'm done. But in your case, if you want to add stuff, like add, I don't know, text, add a vignette, change the color with the curve, the vibrance, okay, it's up to you. Everything is recorded. In my case, this is done. So I'll press stop. And now, if I go back to the button mode, I have this resize 512 with a shortcut of F2 that I can press anytime to uh, resize any any image um, to a 512 uh, image size. For example, I go in this one that should be a 2048 by 2048. Oops, my bad, I'll just reopen it. Uh, okay, so image, image size, it's a 2048 by 2048. So I just press F2 here and boom, voila. Now it should be a 512 by 512. So again, Mine is pretty simple, but in your case, you can add a lot, a lot, a lot more uh, uh, tweaking to it, more settings to it, and it could speed up your workflow. So now that is done, you need to save it though, because if you close uh, Photoshop and you reopen it, it won't be there. So to save it and to keep it there all the time, you just need to press that. My bad, you need to disable the button mode, by the way. Click on the folder that you created, go there again, and save actions, and then you choose the name of it and you place it. If you want it to open all the time with uh, Photoshop, you need to place it in the default folder. I think it's uh, called uh, Presets Actions in, the, in your Photoshop CXS installation folder. But if you want to put it on your USB key and load it at your work, uh, at home, on your laptop, like I said, anywhere, uh, at your girlfriend's house, boyfriend's, whatever. Um, just save it as is, boom, I already have one, so I won't do it. And then whenever you need it, uh, you just go load actions and you load it. And as you can see, I have like a bunch of, uh, well, two, <laughs> two um, actions buttons that I created before to speed up my workflow. So I hope it's clear enough and you enjoyed this this quick tip. I, will, I won't call it, a t call it a tutorial because it was uh, really too simple, but still uh, useful and uh, peace.